Hello, hello, and welcome to a vlog. It has been a minute since I have vlogged, but we are doing a little bit of a come shop with me vlog. Would you like to say hello, Angie? Hi. We're on our way to Nordstrom. I am going to pick up my anniversary sale order, and I'm also going to look around a little bit, see if they'll let me try some things on. If anything, just give you guys a look-see. I'm thinking you know, maybe I'll walk you through it depending on how much footage I can get at Nordstrom. I didn't order anything that is too terribly like wintry. I've got a coat coming, but that's going to happen in another video. All of the Nordstrom try on stuff, by the way, the hauling is going to come in parts because I'll have a good chunk of it today, but some of it is going to be ready on Saturday and then some of it won't be here until next week. So I'm going to pull this Nordstrom anniversary sale stuff out as much as I possibly can. We're going to be stopping at UPS to do a big return that I've been putting off for the last couple of weeks. I'm going to finally get that off of the list. So lots of stuff going on. Yeah, we've got a lot going on today. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now and we're going to get to, whoa, and uh, we're going to get to Nordstrom. <music> it for everything that I wanted to look at at Nordstrom that I thought you guys might be interested in. Now we're going to go pick up our order and then tomorrow I will go over everything in that order with you. So I will see you then. Bye. Okay, there we go. Hi and welcome back. Well, it was quite the fun day at Nordstrom. I have to say that between the Nordstrom anniversary sale, Amazon Prime Days, plus all of the other little sales that are happening right now, I'm exhausted. <laughs> we spent a few hours at Nordstrom. I'm sorry that I didn't get to vlog quite as much as I would have liked. There was a lot of overhead music. So essentially it's just me just kind of walking around the store, looking at things. And then we decided to have some food. So it was actually really fun though. I had a lot of fun. It was nice to be able to try stuff on at the store. Hopefully Nordstrom has learned their lessons because in recent years, the anniversary sale has been a little bit of a letdown for a lot of people because Nordstrom will run out of inventory very quickly. And there was a lot of, I think a lot of frustrated customers that were not icon or ambassador status that would miss out on stuff because it would sell out so quickly. I think Nordstrom finally learned from that because what I noticed at the store is that there was a lot of inventory. And I don't know if it's because they learned their lesson 
lesson and they stocked enough for everyone or if the sale is just not as popular as it was. Now, I will say that in recent years, the sale has been a little bit meh, you know? Ever since the pandemic, it's just kind of gone down as far as like, what they have and, and you know, the excitement around it. And I thought the same thing when I shopped online. I was like, it all looks okay. But honestly, I think that this year's anniversary sale is one of the best that they've had in a while. When you go into the store and you start looking at the stuff and you see just the quantity of things that they have to offer, there's a lot of really nice stuff out there, especially with halogen, I think. Halogen is one of my favorite lines at Nordstrom and they have a very good selection this year. There are a couple of things in here that I did not talk about in my anniversary preview sale, but otherwise everything that I've brought in was pretty much on the list and this is not comprehensive. There are going to be, I think there's probably going to be one more Nordstrom haul coming here on my channel. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss that because there's a lot more good stuff there that um, I don't have yet. I have to say that I really liked what I got. So the, all of that being said, let me talk you through what I found at the store first, and then I will talk you through what I have here that I picked up. Went into the fitting room and I tried on this Pontel knit top, which it was pretty. I liked it. I liked the way that it looked. I liked the way that the neckline was. I liked the Pontel sleeves. I thought that was really nice. It's just a, such a pretty piece. It is, I think, modest enough to wear to the office, but you could also wear it out and about. The only thing I didn't like about it was that it was made of polyester and you could tell the way that it sat and itched on the skin. It wasn't like incredibly itchy or anything like that, but I think I've gotten a little bit spoiled on the natural fibers because I definitely could feel it sitting on my skin. And to me, it just wasn't a very pleasant feeling. I don't mean to knock it because it is actually very, very nice. It's just that it's not the ideal fabric choice for me but if you do like that then this is an excellent option for you it's a beautiful beautiful sweater like i said i love that beautiful square neckline that it has it does a really nice job of opening up the throat if you have narrow shoulders this is something that you could wear because it's going to broaden your chest uh, because it goes straight across i i really like the top for those style reasons but you know overall for me personally it just wasn't it just wasn't the right the right one, but it is very, very pretty. And they also have it in black. And I tried on a vest from Halogen and I really, really wish that I was like down three or four pounds because if I, if I lost a little bit of weight, this vest would have been perfection. I thought it was something that you could easily wear on its own. It looked really nice with my black pants. It would look good with a pair of camel or beige pants. It had a really pretty kind of like a burgundy in the colorway of the plaid. Um, it was a lovely, lovely vest. I really, really liked it. I got it in a 2XL. Sadly though, it did fit a little bit tight across the chest. Sorry about the changing light. We've got clouds coming over. So I do apologize if the light comes in and out. If you are a 16 women's on down, this would have, this vest will fit you perfectly. It is so, so cute. I really, really like it. I think it's very nice. I paired it with a Ponte blazer that had faux leather accents. This particular blazer did not have a collar. It had instead some faux leather along the edge of the collar here. And then it had faux leather sleeves that had a Ponte knit underlay that helped the sleeve to stretch. It did have a single button closure. It did fit a smidge tight in the show in the arms for me because I've got thicker arms, but it wasn't anything that um, was uncomfortable. I know that that will that would likely stretch out with time and wear to, to fit a little bit better. It's a really great piece if you are looking for something like that that's just a little bit more dramatic, that's just a little bit more elevated. Yeah, really like that contrast of textures. I tried this Swiss dot pin tuck top from Caslon in a 2XL, a little bit outside of my personal style, but I thought that it was really pretty and cute.
cute to bring in just to show you something that's a little bit more casual, a little bit more loose and flowy. I would say a little bit more bohemian. Um, I do love the details of the top. It had really lovely pen tucking up here on the, um, on the bodice, on the shoulders. However, I will say that the sleeves were a little bit tight across the top of my arms with this little top. Not anything that was insurmountable, but definitely noticeable. I would do like a half tuck with it. If you like that style and you don't have arms that's quite as thick as mine, then I think you're gonna be fine. It's a really nice top that's a little bit more casual, not quite as dressy. It was made of a lightweight cotton, but not so lightweight that you couldn't wear it in the fall. It's just a, one of those pieces that would transition, I think, fairly easily from right now until the fall and through the fall. Then I tried this pleated faux leather wrap skirt. I think it's what it's called, or it may be a faux wrap skirt, but anyway, it kind of had kind of like a faux leather kind of feel to it. I was really, really impressed with this skirt. I thought that it was so pretty. It was such a unique idea and something that I didn't notice when I saw it online, which again is why if you can, I would go into Nordstrom and look at some of these things because you can't really see what the deal is online. I did see it on the website and I'm all like, oh, it's a pleated skirt. I've got a million and one of those, but this one's a little bit unique in that it is faux leather and Secondly, it has like a faux uh, wrap style to it. It flowed beautifully. I like that faux wrap detail. It had an elasticated waist, which by the way, I picked it up in an extra large because they didn't have a 2XL, but I thought that because it had the elastic waist that it might fit, and it did. Um, it actually fit really well. If you're between sizes, you definitely want to size down. Even if you are a 2XL, um, I would try the extra large because it seemed that that worked really nicely. Now to talk about the things that I actually brought home with me from my pickup. The first thing is this Maggie London dress. I talked about this in my preview video. I mentioned that this would be a really great dress for an interview or if you work in a really formal corporate environment or you need something that's a little bit more dressy. This dress did not disappoint. On camera, it looks all, almost like ox blood. In real life, I would say it's like a deep plum. It has a really high neckline, not a turtleneck or anything, but a very high neckline. And it's got a really pretty flutter sleeve. And I know that some of you are always concerned with flutter sleeves leaves that you might be able to see your bra when you lift your arm. This actually had a panel of fabric right here on the inside so that it won't show your bra if you lift your arm. And I thought that was a really cool little detail, which makes it even more appropriate for the office. I really liked it on its own, but I did put a belt on with it because I just wanted to see what it looked like belted and it totally took it to another level. This is a really nice sheath dress made of a really comfortable, stretchy jersey. Jersey knit. This is a great dress for travel if you have to travel for work. The wrinkles don't really stay. They fall out very quickly. I gave it a steam and you know the wrinkles came out but even if you hung it in the bathroom while you're taking a shower so that the steam from your shower can help the wrinkles to fall out, it they will. And that's what makes this dress a really great dress for work because you could take this to travel with you. It's nice and formal and would serve you very well in that situation. I recommend it if you work in an environment where you have to dress up like this. The next one is the halogen check print long sleeve dress. This was one of the ones that I did not include in my preview that I found when I was looking on the website after I had done that video. And I was intrigued because I was going to order the shirt dress in that pattern. The shirt dress just looked kind of frumpy to me. I don't know. There was just something about it that just didn't look as good as I thought it could. And then I came across this dress and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this one instead because I love the cut of it. It. it has a really nice pleated v-neck on it. It tapers in at the waist. It flares out into this little flouncy skirt. I really liked it. I like the length of it. I'm five feet tall, so it hit me just right below the knee. For me, that's where I like for my skirts to hit me because they're hiding my knees just enough. And I thought the pattern was going to be overwhelming for a petite uh, body or a short body, but no, it actually works really well. If you are taller than I am, then that means it's gonna go maybe above the knee. So just know that. I like the sleeves. They were very, very comfortable. They were very, very roomy. The elastic was actually really nice and loose. 
And even when I, when I pushed it up on my arms, it didn't bind. It was actually quite uh, flexible. Overall, great dress, I think, for the office or other things that you might be doing in the fall. It's really, really beautiful, guys. And I would say that if you are into it, then go ahead and grab it. It's a 2XL. By the way, everything that I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description as well as pinned to a comment on this video. So check on either the description box or the pinned comment. I will try and get that pinned comment done as soon as the video goes live. All right, now moving on to the skirt that came in for this particular haul. It's the Not Your Daughter's Jeans faux leather skirt. It's an A-line skirt. It has a slit in the front and a slit in the back. And I brought it in in the deep chocolate, I think is what it's called. Beautiful, beautiful skirt for the fall and winter guys i would say grab this skirt it is so 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 nice now i brought in a 20w it actually fit really nicely however i know that as i wear it it would eventually stretch and it would end up being too big so it does run true to size pick up your own size, uh, don't size up, and you're going to be fine after you've worn it for a bit. Once the, you, it's had a chance to warm up with your body and you sit and move around in it, it's going to loosen up a bit. It is a really, really great faux leather skirt. To add to your fall lineup, I think that it is going to serve you very, very well. It is really nicely made. It is not going to go out of style anytime soon. And uh, I think that it's a uh, it's a good one. Grab it. I decided to try on the Treasure and Bond one shoulder rib sweater. Even though it is acrylic, it doesn't feel scratchy or itchy. It actually is very, very soft. So if you're not opposed to something like that, I would say this is a beautiful sweater. It's very sexy. It's uh, definitely something for a more casual situation because it does kind of fall off the shoulder a little bit. I think if you want to get more of that falling off the shoulder, you'll want to size up one on it so that it will have a bit of a baggier oversized feel and will really truly fall off the shoulder. I picked up a I think I picked up a 1X in this one. It's in a very pretty heathered brown. They also have other colors, I believe. It does have a little bit of length in the backside. I don't know that I would necessarily recommend wearing this with leggings though, because it doesn't have bu full bum coverage. It looks really lovely with the faux leather skirt. I like the contrast of textures. I like the brown on brown. I thought that that worked really well. So then I moved on to the Wit and Wisdom Absolution Pant. And I talked about these in my preview. I knew for sure that I was gonna be bringing in the brown pair. This is a really, really beautiful, beautiful pair of pants that surprised me. If they're doing a pull-on pant, sometimes they have buttons <laughs> and clasps and things. This pair of pants is very similar to those pants from the drop that I tried on in my 22 Amazon plus size finds because it has uh, clasps, a button, but it has no zipper. These are actually pull-on pants. Wondering if this is just the new trend for pull-on pants. It, you want them to have kind of like a trouser look, but they're not gonna be trousers. No matter, these are really, really great pants, guys. I love, love, love that subtle plaid pattern that it has. These are brown. I don't have any brown wide leg pants in my closet, so these are a keeper for me. I really like the fact that they are of a stretchy fabric. They're almost like a ponty knit. It does have that structure and it does have that movability and the pleats are really nice and they're well-placed, I think. I can tell that it did have a panel in the front that would help to hold things together and also the band on it was pretty thick and it did come up fairly high. So it checked all the boxes for me as far as what I look for in a pant. Only thing is, is that I will have to have them altered. But the beautiful thing about being a Nordstrom card holder or part of the Nordy Club is that you do get an alterations allowance. And so I am going to take those to have them hemmed up for me because these are stunning. I have to have them. They're going to stay in my wardrobe because they just fill a huge gap in my wardrobe and I'm so in love with them. They are so comfortable to move around in, to sit in, to walk in, uh, to bend in. I mean, I did all kinds of things in these as I was trying them on. And I would say that you don't even have to just wear these to the office. I would wear these in a casual and dressier ways. It's one of those types of pants that you could juxtapose like that, right? You know, because they've got a tailored fit, but you can wear them dressed down just a little bit. You know, you have that 
that two by two outfit formula, like I talked about where you've got two smart casual and two casual pieces that you bring together, this, these would work really great in that capacity. If you want to learn how to do the two by two outfit formula, by the way, it works really well for people who work from home a lot, especially check out that video. I'll be sure to have it linked in the description bar below and in the cards up above. Sorry, went off on a tangent there. I also brought in this Caslon long sleeve tee and I brought it in in that turquoise color because I knew I was bringing brown pieces into the try on for the, the sale. And one of my most favorite, and I think one of the most beautiful, beautiful color combinations out there is turquoise and brown. There is just something about turquoise and brown that makes my heart sing. I love that color combination. And so when I saw it with the skirt, I was like, yes. I think this top would look really, really beautiful with the Wit & Wisdom pants as well, those brown pants. Oh, so good, so good, guys. It does hit a little bit long, which is fine. And I'm showing it to you uh, how it looks out so that in case you don't wanna tuck it in, I personally would prefer to tuck it in. I think that this is a really great t-shirt that you could wear to the office, you know, with office attire, and you could also wear it casually. Really, really beautiful wardrobe, essential wardrobe basic to have in a bright color. And especially if you've got brown or even if black is okay, gray, I mean, it would look good with any number of neutrals, navy blue, oh, chef's kiss. It's a really, really stunning color. However, they do have this t-shirt in other colors. If turquoise isn't your thing, it's a really nice thin material. So you could feasibly wear it now, if, especially if you go into like a cold building and it has a little bit of a heathered look to it. Grab this one. It's a 2XL, by the way. Moving on to the other sweater that I tried, and that is the Halogen Funnel Neck Cotton Blend Sweater in a 2XL. I think I did the camel one and I decided to pick it up in gray. It does have that funnel neck. So you get kind of that turtleneck look, but without the constrictive, you know, um, that constrictiveness that you have with a true blue turtleneck. What I really, really love about this top though, are the sleeves that, that flared belt. It has a slit. This sleeve shape was super, super popular and trending. You saw that a lot with like Totem where they had the bigger sleeve. And I think that that's such a beautiful sleeve style. And this one follows that sleeve style and I'm here for it. This is a stunning, stunning sweater, both worn formally and I think casually it's going to look really good. It's got a really beautiful fine gauge knit. It is a cotton blend, which that makes me so happy. It is such a good sweater. I was not intending on keeping this one, but now I have to because I just love that sleeve. I like the gauge of it, by the way. It's not a thin sweater, but it's not a heavy sweater either. It falls in the middle and it is so, so nice. And they it does come in other colors, by the way. So this is the 2XL in the straight sizes, not the plus sizes. I think they carry it in both. I will be sure to have both of the options linked for you in the description bar down below. Then I tried the halogen woven polo sweater. You've got a black satin on the collar and the V of the sweater. And then it's a really beautiful fine gauge knit the rest of the way down. I don't know why they're calling it a sweater. I don't think that this is a sweater. It feels more like a t-shirt to, you know, like kind of t-shirt material to me. Regardless, it is stunning. I love it. And this one I did bring in intending to keep it. And yes, it is staying with me because it is so up my alley. I love black. You know that I love black and I love it when I've got two contrasting fabrics. And I think that just is such a beautiful monochromatic design element that gives it a lot of interest. It is lightweight. So you could easily wear it now into the fall, into the winter, and it's going to go with everything in your wardrobe. The next top that I am showing is the halogen cowl neck sleeveless top and camel plaid. Again, with this plaid that I tried on earlier with the dress, it's everywhere in the Nordstrom Halogen Anniversary Sale lineup. So you're gonna find different pieces in that fabric, including skirts, uh, a, a couple of dresses, a couple of different tops, you know, styles of tops with this particular uh, pattern. I love it. 
I can't say enough good things about it. I like the fact that it's got that satiny finish. I like the cowl neck. The shirt is comfortable to wear. It does come down to a decent length if you don't want to tuck it in. It's a really great work top, I think, or you could dress it up and wear it to something like a date night. It can go for that type of look because it has a bit of a sheen. The last top that I have for you is the Vince Camuto cowl neck top. I really like the cowl neck on this one better than the halogen because it has a little bit more structure to it. It has kind of like a retro 50s collar kind of thing going on. I brought it in in this deep chocolate. It is so, so pretty. I really, really love this brown shade. I don't have it in my own wardrobe. I think that the cowl neck is very sophisticated. I think that this would be a beautiful top to wear under a suit or under a blazer. It's one that you could wear it now and pull it into your wardrobe through the um, winter months. I saw that it came in like a camel in this brown in a burgundy. I think I saw it in navy. I believe they have it in white and probably in black. And I would say that this is one that's nice enough to actually get in multiples. This is an elevated wardrobe basic that you can have in your work wardrobe especially, but you could also have this in your real life as well. If you wanna think about your work clothes, not so much as work clothes, but just as a uh, part of your wardrobe and look at it holistically. So while it's something that is very well geared to being worn in the office, you could also wear it on the weekends and you could wear it you know, to date night and you could wear it to uh, with a pair of jeans you know to go to the movies or to go out to brunch or whatever all of these pieces are intended to work in your life holistically not just your work life or your home life so keep that in mind i only brought in one pair of shoes it is these beautiful cap toe flats from steve madden i talked about them in my preview i knew for sure i wanted to try them they're really cute guys they are awesome i'm just gonna say they're not vivaya vivaya has me spoiled because i'm able to walk in the shoes straight out of the box there's no break-in period these are going to require a little bit of a break-in period i have been wearing them kind of letting them warm up and mold to my feet there's probably going to be a blister maybe but they're fantastic if you're looking for a cap toe flat that isn't completely flat and that is at a much more reasonable price than the original chanel cap toe ballet flats this is definitely one to take a look at. It seems like it is going to be very comfortable once it's broken in. I think that it's gonna be a great staple to have in your wardrobe because you're gonna be able to wear these with a lot. It adds instant sophistication, I think. There's just something about that cap toe style, that beige cap toe style especially, but they do have it in other colors. I think I've seen the black leather with a black patent cap toe. They've got a gold with a black cap toe and they've got the beige with the black cap toe. I think those are the only three that they have. It isn't completely a round toe, which is a nice thing because had it been round toe, I likely would not have liked them because I, you know, I prefer something that tapers a little bit and at least gives the illusion of going to a point. It's got a little bit of a squared off point perfection guys perfection these shoes are so so cute i just know that i'm going to be wearing them all the time i did bring in one beauty item and that is the nars afterglow lip balm duo i decided that i wanted to give these a try and so i brought them in and they're beautiful but they really are a lip balm, guys, with a very, very slight tint. You've got Dolce Vita and Orgasm in there. Orgasm has got a little bit of a sheen. It's not a metallic fleck, but it does have a little bit more of a, just a smidge of frostiness to it, just a smidge. I'm actually wearing Orgasm over a lip liner. It's a flower lip liner that I have that no longer is made, but I am wearing the balm over it and it is so comfortable and so beautiful. So it's gonna be a really pretty balm to layer over your lip, uh, your lip liners if you like to line and fill in. Or if you've got like, um, like a, a liquid lipstick or like a, the Maybelline Superstay ink crayons, you know, um, and you want to layer something moisturizing on top that's not going to move the product around a lot, 
this is the thing for you. Dolce Vita has, does have a little bit of a deeper tone to it. And I can tell that when I put it on, um, orgasm, like I said, has got a little bit of a pale pinky sheen. It does give a little bit more shine. The formula though, is really what has me impressed. I've been trying them out throughout the day and I'm pleased. I'm very happy with them. So if you want a lip balm that has got just a smidge of color to it, if you want to do like a no makeup makeup and you know, you just want to put on a balm because you, you want your natural beauty to shine through, then the these are definitely for you. I apologize that this wasn't like a true blue vlog. It was kind of like a vlog try on haul hybrid. <laughs> so if you want to see what else there is out there for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I did a pretty comprehensive video here. It's my Nordstrom preview video. Check it out. There's so much more there. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in that video. Bye.